Okay, hello. Um, today I'm going to do this marbling stuff. Um, because when I showed you all the stuff I bought for my birthday, that I think was the request. Can you show us the marbling thing? So that's what I'm going to do. Um, please don't mistake this for a product review video or like one of those tutorial videos because I'm not a fancy enough YouTuber for that kind of thing. I'm just going to muck around and show you what I'm doing. Okay, and I don't know how much I'll talk. I will try to mumble if that makes it less boring, but I'm probably just going to be focused on whatever. We'll see what happens. Let's get going, have a look at the pantry. I don't know, I probably should have closed that door because it's kind of distracting, but yeah, I'm not fancy enough, so <laughs> let's just go. First of all, I'm going to try using these dot things. Sorry, it's kind of an awkward setup with a tripod. Um, so I think we pop these out. We'll just pop one out for, for now. Pop that there. And get the back of the... Pop it down. And we're supposed to wait for it to float. And there we go. Let's try yellow first. Oh, that didn't really... It's maybe not wet enough on top yet. Like when you float it, it's supposed to keep it on the surface because you don't want the ink going to the bottom. Yeah, no. Compositionally, I think we need some more blue going around, so what if I start swirling a little bit? And they also gave me a big brush thing. I don't know what it's going to look like if I do a lot at once. We've had enough of that. Shall we do this? Oh, what's the best way to do it? I don't know. I might have mucked that up a little, I'm not sure. But first try, let's give it a go. I'll just move this so. Oh, I've got to get some pep Because you got to blot it. But I'm doing that off to the side so you won't see when it comes up really, how I'm blotting it. Alright, let's pick it up. Whoa! Yeah, so that's my first go at it. Let's get rid of some of that. Oh, there's colours dripping all over the place, okay. Uh-oh. I think a lot of my colour ended up on my towels. Alright, so it kind of ended up heaps faint. Um, not 100% sure if I've done something wrong, but we'll give it another go. It's kind of like a nice pastel, but I'm not really into pastels. Maybe if I use a different kind of paper. Like, that was the paper that came with the kit. Maybe I'll try some thin office paper next. I'm just going to put some more colour in, so let's get the dot back in there.
the regular office paper, because apparently different kinds of papers work differently. And maybe I shouldn't have done it so fast because um the currents that you create when you put something down apparently affects it too. Alright. Whoop. Let me just it's kind of the same really. But there's like this nice strong bit here, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Anyway, I've got one more different kind of paper to try. It's a watercolor paper. This is the watercolor paper. Uh oh, I got a bubble. Okay, we got some stronger bits, and I'm kind of wondering if maybe this is the wrong thing to blot it with, because um, maybe it's picking up too much of the water off it. So, yeah. Anyway, let's do a little bit more of the office paper just to see if we can clean up whatever's in here. And maybe I won't blot it this time. They say to blot it in the instructions. But let's see if we get anything. All right, that's pretty cool. So I blotted one side with a tissue and the other side with a paper towel, and there's no difference. So. Um, I think it's just that the inks are not particularly strong. So I've just got a whole bunch of pastel sheets. They actually look a little bit better now that they're drying. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit weak and pastel-y, which isn't my kind of thing. Um, and I can see, I can actually see some of the parts where I've blotted it. There's a texture on this paper towel, and that is showing up. So if you leave some of the water behind, I think it does have an effect, but not on the strength of the colour, maybe. Anyway, let's just clean this up and try a different method. Wow, that cleaned up really nicely. Okay, so I'm just going to clean up the water and we'll be back. Okay, we're clean. Let's give it another method. So, I've got a bit of soapy water and I've got a bit of black ink here. And I don't know if this is going to work at all. Hmm. Yeah, I'm struggling to get the ink to float. Yeah, like it just keeps sinking to the bottom, so... I'm not sure if that's something I'm doing wrong. I really don't like how this is going, so um, what I'm going to do, 
I'll get my crappy office paper. I'll lift that off and see where it's up to, but I think it's going to be crap. It's kind of interesting, but it's so faint. There you go. Bit meh. I'm going to clean this up again and we'll try it with a dot. Okay. Let's give this another go. And hopefully we won't get so much black sinking to the bottom. Whoa, don't go all the way over there, you crazy thing. This is not what I was trying to do, but okay. Actually really interesting. Like there's some crazy zigzaggy things going on in here. I actually like this. This is more fun than the other two methods, I think. And this is not what anyone on YouTube was saying to do. I've like combined two different methods. Um, so I would say this is like one of those happy accident type things. How about that? Check it out. Doing it my own way. Yeah. Try not to fuck it up as I put it down. I think I did fuck it up. It's really hard to put the paper down and not make everything move. Mm. Maybe tissue is better than blood, but I'm just going to put my phone mark behind. off the excess but it's still really faint for what it looks like it should be. I seriously check it out. Once I take it off it looks like that. You can't see it so what am I doing wrong? I'll get a bit of office paper clean up the rest of this. Boom. Do I need to leave it longer? Does the top need to get wet? I don't know. Let's just make both sides wet and see what happens. Scrape it in. Yeah. Wee. Let's get crazy. Like this. Hey, it's kind of making its own fun pattern, so. Why not? Alright. How's the other side? Like it looks really fun when it first comes out. How do I get it to stay looking fun? Oh, drip off the ink. Do I have to like wash it in the sink? So I don't pick up the, all the colour? Should we try that? Try not to get it dripping all over the place? This is actually looking heaps promising. Check it out. It actually kept that strength, so maybe I just need to put it straight under the top rather than pat it down like it says to. Alright, well let's do this method again and I'll try and just put it under the sink straight away. And maybe we'll get a better result and I'll put some more colours in. Alright, let's go again.
Oh, no, I put my brush in the wrong one. Oh, never mind. I think I made it a faint colour, that's interesting. Damn it. Not at all what I meant to do. All right, cool. So I don't know what kind of paper this is. I'm guessing it's the watercolor paper, but I'm not sure. It's already falling out by itself. How about that? This one was on the watercolour paper, even rinsing it out, it still feels kind of faint. So I think maybe they're just, it's just a faint colouring thing, you know. Let's do that thing again where we go on top. La, 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 la. Ta da! Alright, let's have one more go. Funny little hair that got in there. I mean, there's probably no need for the um, paint brushes to be honest. Like this is fine. The black seems to sink anyway, so you probably can't do much about it. But having the paint brush with the extra soapiness, and you could also. It doesn't matter if the soap sinks or not. just constantly sinking, that's really annoying. bit of paper that came in the kit. Oh no, I've got two more bits. <sighs> and heck, let's do both sides because that seems to be the only way I'm getting interesting things happening. Yeah, 
else I was a bit better. Yeah, it's kind of weak. And have I got any office paper left? No, I've already used it all. So let's use another random bit of who knows what. Let's see if there's anything else going on. underwhelming because I like stronger colors better but you can see how that kind of works um, I did get some colorful sort of ones but not as bright as I would like so maybe that's where you need to try the other style of marbling which is the is it Turkish or I don't know but that was an interesting experiment and now I'm going to clean up because I made a bigger mess welcome to my big mess We had enough of this, Hopi. Oh, who are you looking for? Hmm? Hey, hey, hey. Alright, now right, I gotta figure out how to edit this because it goes for ages. Bye bye, that was marbling. Um. Yeah, I'm a little bit like, eh, should I? But it was kind of fun um, playing with the water side of things, but the prints are actually a bit shit. Till next time. It's more than an hour of footage I've just edited. But yeah, so I have some ideas about what I could do differently next time and maybe try some different papers and so on. Um, but if you happen to know what I'm doing wrong, please leave me a comment because I would like to get this to work in a way that I enjoy, but it's not happening. And if I can't figure out how to get it to work, then I might just use them as regular inks rather than marbling ink because like, it wasn't cheap, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but hey, what can you do? So tell me what I'm doing wrong and I'll try again some other time when I can be bothered. Bye for now. No, wait, one more thing. Um, I, as I was packing up, on that day, um, my cousin was still here, and she saw what I was doing and was like, what's this? And I'm like, it's marbling. And she's never done that before, so she was excited, and, and we did a little bit extra, and um, uh, yeah, she thought it was pretty cool. So maybe it's just me being grumpy, that's another thing. Um, and so she took home hers, and also um, some of mine, and if you want to see also pictures of ones that I did in this set and then also some that I did later with her. Have a look at my Patreon because I'm going to put a link in the comments I think or maybe I can put one up there. Um, but yeah I took pictures, they're dodgy pictures, but pictures! And now hopefully for real I am finishing this damn video. I'm sorry I'm really bad at this.